to apologize to him for that. Hello, how's it going, Rail fans? Thank you very much for joining me. Train at Simulator Classic on the air. Thank you very much for joining us. I am the Godfather. The Aussie Don, your week six winner of the screenshot competition for the Dovetail Game, uh, Dovetails Forum. I have won this week's screenshot competition. And guess what? My screenshot was of the Hell's Gate Bridge. Hey! So there you go. Bit of love to uh, um, to uh, America and from the land down under. Because, you know, we have a huge connection um, with the Hell's Gate Bridge. Uh, because uh, Hell's Gate Bridge was the original bridge. And uh, was a handshake agreement with the designer of the Hell's Gate Bridge. With the designer of our bridge here in Australia. The Sydney Harbour Bridge. And, yeah. I am uh, actually honoured and privileged, as always, to live only uh, one hour by train, 30 minutes by train, depending how fast, if I get an express train uh, to the Harbour Bridge. So, yeah, it's uh, always an honour. So, I thought, yep, I'm going to throw that on there for this week's landmark, uh, this last week's landmark competition. And guess what? I got the most likes, so I won. So, uh, you might even see it uh, going into the loading screen here, but who knows? Um... Yeah, we're at the Northeast Corridor, folks. We are doing New York Penn to Trenton. And uh, yeah, one of the main reasons I did have a delay, we had a little bit of a storm go through. There's, yeah, storms going, coming and going at the, at the moment. Um, it's one of those days. So um, I uh, was at the Dovetail Forums and I had to put in my two bobs about uh, what Max was telling me about the... Um, the NEC uh, New York, the Trenton for Train Symbol 3's upcoming Train Symbol 3 release. And yeah, I'll probably have to agree uh, I with the lure not actually being added to the timetable. What the hell are they doing? Seriously. They've got to add it into there. And the upgraded sunny, uh, sunny side needs to be done. Um, I did note that, yeah, the, the skyline and everything does look way better in Train Simulator. And I've explained that many times over. The skyline looks way better on Train Simulator. You know, Look at the London area. You get the real buildings of London and everything around and everything. Did you see that in Tracing World? Eh, nope. Anyway, uh, certainly, Mugs, yeah. 12.30 uh, p.m. service cloud. New York Penn to Trenton is what we're doing. We're doing the Cellar Express, and we hope you enjoy. I will be using it without the safety systems, by the way. There I am. Hey. <laughs> there we are right there. There's, there's my screenshot right there, folks. And I can even prove it. I can I can even prove it. I could bring it up. <laughs> I can bring it up on the screen later on. I'll show you guys that I've got it. The months my files. Uh, all right. Let's get those headlights on. Let's open up those doors. Get that in the boards. Should we put the system on? We should. Nah. We we'll, we'll just cruise it this time. No, Sunnyside will be in Train Sim World. It's just everybody's complaining about the lures not being added into the the timetable because they've been added into the scenarios uh, around here in New York, but they're not actually being added into the timetable as a, a layer. Obviously not drivable, but as a layer, you know? Because um, it's not going to make uh, this station busy. And everyone's pissed off about it, mainly because we're pretty much copy and paste from the original train symbol. Even though they're adding a bit more to it. But yeah, technically everything else is copy and paste. And there's not an upgraded sunny side area as well. Everybody's wanting the, the 
buildings and everything around and yeah there's just you know they're saying you know they're saying oh you know no love again for the US player um, you'll see the thread on the forum if you go to the dovetail forum you'll see it on there I, I put my two, two bob in today you know what I have to agree with the players I have to agree 100% uh, what they're talking about and it's um, it's true Dovetail, you know, uh, always well known. Like I explained to my viewers many times over before when they uh, uh, took away NEC uh, leading into Train Sim World 2. Um, I said, I, I say eventually they'll bring back the, the, the NEC New York. I was thinking they'll bring back the original one, but uh, yeah, I did say to the players uh, when they bring it back, I don't expect anything else that'll be new pretty much copy and paste <laughs> unfortunately I speak truth so. I told you guys dovetail is about this not about this about the heart of a player you know what I mean and it's not about this the brain <laughs> Let's hope they, um, they. Let's hope that they do correct it. Obviously, maybe not at launch, but we still have got time. We've got more than a week to release. So. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got New Jersey Transit. We only got two hundred and eighty-six services. I think it was. That, um, that's all we got. Uh, the whole the whole timetable, 286 services. Even the timetable is disgusting. 286 services total. That's not just that's not just New Jersey Transit. That's the whole thing. No uh, CSX layers. No. Um, Amtrak 1000 added back into the game. Like I say to you guys, you know, don't tell to make it out to be all these bells and whistles, but when it comes to the reality of it, <laughs> there's no bells and whistles. It's nothing but fireworks. Actually, fireworks are better than better than what the what Dovetail does. The uh, you know the fifteen uh, the the Caltrain fifteen DC switcher that's on uh, the Palencia corridor. It's that. That was back in Train Sim World 1. It was a shelter. The shelting services, because we had, we had uh, with the original Northeast Corridor, New York, uh, to New Rockshire, when we were on the upside. Um, or New Rochelle, I think they call it. Um, we, had, we had freight services. So if you go through my playlists uh, with the Train Sim World 2020 playlist I have, I actually got some gameplay on there with the uh, CSX. I actually, that was one, the 1000 Amtrak 1000 was one logo that I didn't actually have. Yeah, should, but they didn't add any freight services in, into it. And that's why I call in for a extension. And then they'll bring back the Hellscape Green side of it and everything and bring back those uh, great services. And obviously, we, we all want the loads to be laid into the, uh, into the timetable. And I think that's something that people need to address with Dovetail on the live stream launch uh, the preview live stream
It says 2023 on there. Hey! <laughs> got the 2023 on this one. Let's take a photo of that. Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, there's heaps more. Because there's Maria's Pass, there's Tadeki's Pass, there's Steven's Pass, there's uh, Dover, there's, uh, there's Arizona Divide, Cajon Pass, uh, Sherman Hill, um, the NEC uh, is in there in a few variants. There's uh, New Jersey, uh, North Coast, uh, uh, New Jersey, uh, North Jersey Coastline, there's Morristown, there's uh, Miami, there's uh, the Los Angeles, there's uh, San Jose, the Police Corridor, uh, there's tons, there's way more, way, way more, way, way more. And there's Santa Fe's, there's BNSF's, there's CSX's, there's uh, Southern Folk, there's uh, uh, Birmingham or, or Blumingham or some, some other thing. Um, there's tons, tons, tons more. Tons, tons more. Amtrak, obviously. New Jersey Transit. Okay, we are here at... I can't believe I actually got a 2023. How cool would it be if I actually get the 2023 first up on, on the DLC release on TSW? And I have to agree with the players. We, we, we need to have the uh, the PSI uh, and a USA PSI added to T into TSW. The Empire Corridor. Yep. And. Um, what sort of um, the Empire Corridor? All right. Uh, what's it evolved? Uh, what what sort of trains are evolved in it? And um, yeah, tell us a little bit of the history of it, if you if you don't mind. Like, what's the what's the might? How how many how how fast do the trains go on it? Uh, Passing information system. The, uh, P the PSI is what you see on the screen uh, when you're at a train station, you see where the train's going to. So say for instance, this train is heading to New York Penn and it tells you all the stops it's stopping at. And it tells you how many, tr how many cars are on the, on the passenger train. Or it comes up saying this train is not stopping here, you know what I mean? Uh, Amtrak and Metro North, okay. Speed limit is around 110 miles per hour. Okay. That's the maximum speed limit that it gets up to? No, oh, that's, that's not too bad. If it's a suburban, like if it's an urban uh, like experience, like a few stations and that, then yeah. Definitely. Definitely Something I might look into a bit more actually myself. The Empire Corridor. Right 
So Metro North, uh, that's very that's very similar to um, the Empire Corridor. That's very similar to um, what we've got with the Harlem Line. Uh, the P32, yeah, Amtrak P32. P32 cab car. Okay, so Metro North cab cars are with the with the M track. Okay, so that's one train. So it's the, the gallery cars, cab cars, uh, P32s. The full route is 145 miles. Okay, so you know we'll obviously get a portion of that, a little bit of a portion of it, maybe 30 miles of it. <laughs> I actually like to see around 70 miles at half of it. Right. Uh, Metro North, so it's uh, MTA. Metropolitan Transportation. Uh, transportation Authority. That's uh, a uh, third rail. Ah, uh, yep, yep. Coming into Newark, Penn. About to go over the uh, bridge. Gonna be good to see this uh, bridge back in the game. That, straight, that train station just there, actually, that particular one there, I'm pretty sure that was not used on TSW as well, uh, back in the original TSW. I have, I have a sneaky suspicion, suspicion that that probably be the case again. Yeah, it depends what uh, era they actually set it in. I think they'll probably um, maybe step away from the New York area, I reckon, on the next one. I, I would like to see uh, Chicago. Um, the Los Angeles one, and I've, I've explained to viewers they're working on this California high-speed project at the moment, and the Palencia Corridor is actually getting, it's gotten an absolute massive facelift, and it's finally gotten overhead wires thrown on, and uh, all the stations are getting redeveloped, and they're throwing another line along the side, which is, and the speed, and a lot of the, um, a lot of the uh, crossings have been taken out, and flyovers have been put on them. side has actually not got as much <laughs> I went past the platform a bit there I think I've gotten all of the open anyway yep yep I got all open anyway uh, about to go through the wall oh she disappeared <laughs>
Leading Godfather, slow down. So, in track 100s, 108s, 120s, and 130s. There we go. Yeah, I wouldn't mind calling for extra uh, Amtrak stuff. I say eventually when they probably get proper um, proper things for uh, this particular Amtrak and uh, obviously don't do the prototype would be the uh, Empire, which is the new one. There's a lot of options for a lot of Amtrak stuff, like there's the Superliners, uh, the Superliner Gary cars, you know, you got the double stackers on there. By the way, folks, uh, because of uh, because I did even, even though I did win this last week's screenshot competition for Train Simulator, um, I actually have put a screenshot, and I've only done one for this week because, to be honest, it's quite a hard week to actually get a decent screenshot. I've put one screenshot on there um, of a train outside the shed, and it's from the the uh, Glasgow uh, Underground. But I'll be honest with you guys, uh, there is another dude on there that's got an absolutely lovely photo and I'll probably say to you guys, uh, don't vote for me, vote for him because he's probably, uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I'd like to see this particular photo win it. It's such a great, great photo. Uh, so yeah, I, I put my two balls in and I said I hope you win it because yeah, it's a lovely, lovely photo. I think this guy has won one before but hey, I, uh, it's, it's a great shot. It is a really good shot. Alright, so this is the station that we used to finish our journeys with, with the original TSW. And uh, obviously it used to go past and pan on the other side. Yes, I know, because that, um, basically, in real life actually, because see, that's where they could use the Superliner. Um, Because that goes to Chicago, so yeah, that would be uh, that would be really cool. Is there lifts at this station? Yeah, there is, isn't there? Yeah, just there there would be lifts in Train Sim World's version. I wonder if they got the working lifts working on it. If not, it'll be like, hey, or what happened to you? You're supposed to be doing the, the working lifts from now on. <laughs> yeah, that didn't last long, did it? Uh, yes, 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 I am doing the Philadelphia one. Uh, obviously, we're, we're not giving the portion of the whole Philadelphia. We're just doing, this is uh, what we are doing, we're teasing players with Train Sim Worlds for the release. We're uh, just doing New York Trenton. So yesterday on uh, All Aboard, I did the North uh, New Jersey Transit train, and I, did, I drove the two-level uh, gallery car, high level cab or whatever you really want to call them. Um, yeah, I drove that yesterday into uh, from Trenton to New York Penn, and uh, I said to the viewers that I've got an individual live stream set up uh, with the Acela, even though the Acela is going to be more for Boston. 
Um, I do have a portion of Boston actually. I have the port, the part of Boston actually on a workshop, uh, but I haven't actually did it yet. So I might give it a demo run, see what it looks like, and then if it looks like it's something that I, it's worth doing a live stream for. Uh, I'll take the Acela on there before the release of the TSW release. Because I do have the workshop for uh, the other part of NEC. Mega Gaming, how you going? Mate. Hey, button. What am I doing? I'm just going to throw in G'day, mate, so I know. <laughs> I gotta get used to the buttons because I, I've changed the buttons around for the for the g'day mate. Because it was interfering with other buttons yesterday. So I've got other buttons working on it now. It's like I'm oh, hang on. Pressing the right button. <laughs> Press a button and it'll probably blow up the train, I'll be like, oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> I'm going to stop here at Elizabeth, uh, it is, uh, as I explained to you guys, a lady that I know is middle name. No, it's all, it's, it's a pain in the butt, all these, you know, weird buttons, you know, pressing all these buttons all the time. So I usually, I've got everything set up usually around the home end, you know, and all that, you know, delete, insert, like everything's all there. Sometimes I wish you just had a whole bunch of buttons in that particular area and just go bang, 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 you know. Or just have something on the side, you know, you just, you know, gives you everything. All right, let's open the doors. I'm not so sure if I moved them. I think I, I think I, I'm pretty sure I moved them. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. The um, SWR Customs. Uh, yeah, yeah, Samuel. Yeah, I um, Samuel's working on some other stuff at the moment as well, and uh, I speak to Samuel a fair bit, and. Uh, yeah, I've been came across uh, those uh, trailers. Uh, when was it? About three months ago now, three four months ago now. And yeah, I was very excited because I've been working with, I've been rolling with these one three six trailers for quite a while. While and yeah, as you know, the lights at the back have been playing up. They haven't been working for quite a while. And, well, I've been looking for an update for it for quite a while, and yeah, I've seen it. They were upgrading it, I thought, last week. So, yeah, I started doing skins for them. I've got uh, I've got six packs up on modeling.net for uh, all the skins uh, for it. So there's 15 in each one. The one I've just released uh, yesterday has 16, actually. I managed to throw one more in there now. Because, yeah, bloody modeling.net recently put a limit on uh, the, the gigabytes for what you can download. Yeah, you've been using them for at least 12 months. Yeah, yeah. 
Ah, oh, there's a whole heap of new schemes up on there. Like I'm doing, I'm doing truck schemes as well. Like I even got a Campworth schemes pack. With all, if you go to the actual SW, not the community side of it, but if you go to the SWR customs uh, page itself, it's got a link for the trailers and trucks. And there's a whole heap of templates and stuff in there and whatnot. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. So yeah, I've been skinning up all the the Cape. Kenworth uh, T950s, 909s, uh, Legend Stars, 404s, uh, 608s, you know. yeah, it's, it's been pretty cool, so yeah, I've been comboing up all those trailer skins, so yeah, I put a combo pack together, at modeling.net I recently uh, put in the Kenworth skins pack as well. Got an upgrade for that coming out in a couple of weeks' time. Some more skins added to it. So yeah, I've just released the six pack. I'm currently on started work on the seventh pack. I've got uh, new Mac McDonald's design coming out. New can't uh, can say sorry. New uh, Coca-Cola design. The original can't beat the real thing uh, one that I did I've done a new version of that for the upgraded trailer so yeah I'm just going through the list of all the old stuff from the old trailer now and uh, starting to convert it over but yeah now I'm starting to do the roofs as well and the toolboxes and yeah it's a lot more evolved in it Still using Mod Studio, it's the only bloody way I know how to do it. Yeah, taking a break from the trucks today. Um, so yeah, not live streaming. Not live streaming tonight, folks. I will be back tomorrow for uh, Freight Market Wednesdays. I'll be on at 10.30 p.m. local time here in Sydney, Australia. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish someone would bloody do a uh, Aussie version of the uh, real companies and gas stations though. I, uh, there is one dude that was working on one on there, but uh, he actually asked me to actually help him. But uh, yeah, he thought that I knew how to do the, uh, change the lighting signs and everything and do the 3D things. I, I know what it is, it's Blender. You've got to go through Blender and do it. But it's a lot of death building and all that. I, I, I don't know that side of the game. There's just so much coding and stuff involved and yeah. With my time limit, no. It's uh, I only do skins for trucks and trailers, AI traffic, freight market, that's it. But yeah, I like to see someone actually do a proper Aussie version of the real companies and that. It'd be absolutely awesome to see. Not so much the service stations, I wouldn't mind the service stations actually staying in there. Maybe just change a couple of them there here and there, you know, like when you 7-Eleven in or whatever, yeah, United Station. Yeah, yeah, the Aussie map. I didn't derail on that one actually. Could have derailed easily. If that happened in real life, folks, there'll be a riot on the train. <laughs> yeah, a lot of negativity about uh, truck world actually with that. Uh, 
the uh, training school, I think it is, the driving school, a lot of people are not happy with it. Yeah, I know, Brayden, I know. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't because I was pumping it in there, wasn't I? I thought I was being diesel for a second. Oh, well, I was probably getting some of that, you know, I was trying to rip a burnout on the rails, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I hope that uh, SES actually pulls their finger out of their bum someday and actually bring us, you know, they're talking about expanding on wall and trucks, so uh, I think that I'd like to see a trans Tasman. Uh, version of um, the truck simulator come out. I just don't want just Australia, I'd love to see New Zealand also in it as well. well the likes of uh, uh, Parboy would definitely love to be in New Zealand. Parboy would be going on his brain for that. Uh, I definitely would. Yeah, speaking of American Truck Simulator folks, there is a full replay of uh, our Lighting the Highways live stream from last night, our 53rd lighting the highways live stream as you know i moved it back to mondays here in 2023 but i've also moved it to 10 30 p.m local time now and uh, last night we rolled with uh, fuel tanker and uh, rolled with the uh, 404 st last night kenworth so yeah it's been a while since i rolled with a fuel tanker and obviously it was an swr custom uh, stage three fuel tanker and uh, rolled with uh, costco gasoline that last night. Yeah, I know, that's something I'm hoping they'll do when they uh, upgrade the engine. They, they said that they're going to be upgrading the engine soon, so I say that maybe that could be the case of them actually upgrading maybe the, the weather features again. Finally, we get, I know there's mods for snow and everything, but uh, yeah, they can upgrade the weather system. How cool would it be if you're rolling down the highway and you see lightning bolts you know, hit the ground and everything? But don't take it away like in five minutes like they did with Train Simwall. <laughs> She's coming down big time outside today here in Sydney. It's a bloody wet day today. Coming all off the coast. Finally got a cool day here. It's been so muggy and hot. Just a little, little reprieve of it. 24 hours. And then back. <laughs> it's been Sunday, Saturday here. Man, I had the air conditioner going all day, and it's still. Yeah, I've seen that you've had a storm uh, up that way. Yeah, I was looking at the radar, I've seen the lightning bolts coming off there. I thought, hey, it's, it was saying 500 plus. I thought, hey, okay. Yeah, storm going on. It's more on the coast now. Still too hard. 
get through the bloody the hills into the Gold Coast, man, the first day I was up there, last time I was on a holiday, man, within, it was nice and beautifully sunny and warm, and then within five minutes, boom! Like, yep, I've, I've been walking back to Queensland very well. <laughs> yeah, I might probably be up there a few times over the next uh, next recent months. Go up and watch the Dolphins play. So this is the uh, portion of the route that is coming to TSW uh, free next week. And uh, yeah, primary wolf, everybody having a whinge about the um, lackluster services and obviously the lure not being at New York's uh, Penn Station in timetable, but yet it is there in scenario. So yeah, I probably agree, 100%. You know, because you've got obviously other routes that have the... Uh, how long is the... Uh, is this route in my... What, for the train sim world uh, portion of it, Brayden? Excuse me for a second, folks. I'm just going to cover the screen with uh, the Google for a second. Go for it to the Dovetail Forum and have a look at uh, this answer for Braden then. Uh, yeah, Strike Eagle likes my post about the NEC. No surprises there. So yeah, I, I always don't hold back. <laughs> You know me, I'm a long time veteran of TSW, and yep, you know me, Dovetail, it's all about this. Money, money, money. Hey, that's what happens when you run a business, eh? It's all about money. As long as, I, as long as the weekend comes and I've got a beer in my hand or scotch in my hand, I don't care. Okay, it's all good. <laughs> also, lately it's been a bottle of JD. <laughs> uh, JB, sorry. Jim, Jimmy B. Jimmy B. Yeah, I've seen you roll with a few of my skins before. Uh, uh, 
on your streams and stuff. So yeah, I thought I'll uh, give it the heads up if you didn't know about the uh, the newer one, and uh, yeah, it gives you options for more stuff. I'm actually up to suggestions at the moment for some companies and stuff. So I'm sort of rolling. I'm sort of getting away from the uh, Kenworths for a bit at the moment because uh, the yeah, I've seen the uh, Helibit. There's a new version of the Helibit out. Got some more customization than it's ever had before, and I thought, wow, yeah, the new customization is really, really cool. So, um, just get one here. I'm looking for one of Eight miles, ninety-four kilometers. There you go. So it's it's definitely bigger, definitely bigger than that. The original NEC. But yeah, it's, a lot of it's copy and paste. A lot of people are not happy about that. I pretty much discovered that it would be copy and paste. The only difference it would look better is because it's got obviously the environmental clouds and the new lighting. That's the only thing that would look make it look nicer. The fire scenery and everything is concerned. Apparently everything's the same. The only parts that you obviously are new to it is from past Newark International. Me, I need to get a truck organised for tomorrow's free market Wednesday. So I might actually bring, I might bring out my Tom and Jerry tomorrow actually, and uh, I might work on it a little bit and put the free market Wednesday's logo on the side of it. Just, just do a copy and paste of it and just put it in. My daughter's absolutely loves Tom and Jerry. She's been like every time I'm on the phone to her in the afternoons. Well, now in the afternoons, now she's back at school. Uh, gets on there with the little Facebook. This is a big, good thing about uh, FaceTime these days, folks. You know, you've got the little videos you can watch with your kids. You know, if you can't be with your kids, you can just you know, watch the video with your kids. Yeah. You know? Laughing her head off with Tom and Jerry. I actually got her into Tom and Jerry because I thought, you know, it's appropriate. She knows about The Simpsons and stuff, but she's not hooked in, into The Simpsons or anything like that. So that's good, actually, because we, we know that The Simpsons can be pretty full on. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff. Especially the one I said the other day, it was, it was like, uh, you know, Homer's there with a pack of condoms and there's something else, and he's like, oh, and Marge comes out, oh, I don't like what you got planned for tonight, oh, count me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. It was a July 4 one. And he's like, oh, he was at, he was at some, they were at some place, and there was a dude very similar to Apu. He goes, oh, I want this, want that, and uh, how about some legal fireworks? <laughs> Well, I say, yeah, why not? <laughs> Get a couple of shells and launch them out. 
now I've done some crazy stuff with some fireworks back in the days, I tell you right now. How good was it, you know, us growing up, you know, like I'm 40, you know, I'm old, you know, I'm old school. How good was it when we were kids, you know, we used to sit up and crack it. On cracker night, just sit up on the stair, uh, on the on the chair and just lost the fireworks off the side of the chair. <laughs> just to get them from the local shop, five bucks, hey, five bucks for a bag of fireworks. Let's go. See how good it was. All the idiots ruined that for us. So Braden, uh, you haven't seen the maple leaf uh, come through lately, or you, like I've seen that you've got a couple of videos there on, on the shorts area for uh, on the maple, maple leaf uh, 50th anniversary M track. Pretty cool photos. I, I was seeing they gave you a salute there on uh, one of them as well. That was pretty hectic. That was awesome. Every day, does it? It's good to see now they've actually passed the 50th anniversary. Not that they've still actually got the, the paint job scheme on there. You know, they haven't, haven't taken it away. I say they probably will eventually, but I would actually prefer to actually see them actually put it into heritage. Like, like keep one of the logos and keep it in the heritage thing. And then when come the 100th anniversary down the track, when I'm probably long gone, uh, you know, they um, bring out the 50th anniversary. Right now. Oh, God, I've got a long day ahead. button that I use for resetting my stack. Hey, that'd be right. Of course I've got a, of course I've got a fly hanging around me. Oh, last night I was absolutely plagued for The next time they will repaint, uh, repaint the trains will be in 2030, okay. I think that's about around about the, the year that they're trying to get the, the carbon net rate down. Hopefully by then I've won the lotto and I'm doing my world tour of uh, trains, for real. And obviously I'll be doing trucks as well. I do the tour of uh, if I do the uh, Northeast Corridor, obviously I'll be doing that. It'll be my world tour. I'll be getting somewhere in the US and I'll be sitting on the side of a highway somewhere and just taking video of all the great trucks. 
trying to get a truckie to actually give us a tour of the truck itself, you know, if I see a really nice one, you know, give some tips on where some truck shows are and everything. drive for over 40 plus years folks and I used to go with him everywhere when I was a kid in the truck oh yeah that's my plan that's my plan to do it in real life Braden there yeah, but I'll, you know if I want it if I win the lotto you know I want to do a world tour I want to go to all the great trains you know my ultimate I'm not going to lie to you, my ultimate experience for a train would be the ICE. So I'm a big fan of German Rail. So I like to do it in East, uh, uh, ICE. And uh, my ultimate favourite route though is the uh, West Coast Mainline in the uh, UK. I'd love to do the Palino, but uh, there is a tour once a week now that actually they brought back the old uh, the old Class 90 with the uh, 86, I think it is, on the other side of it, and the MK3s. They've uh, refurbished them. It's got the old inner city uh, paint scheme on them. So. Five pounds, I think it was that um, Jeffrey uh, Jeffrey on his Facebook no, his Facebook his uh, YouTube channel was was on his page and uh, watching it the other day. I'm saying it was 75 pounds to do it. And I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. Three and a half hour journey from uh, London to uh, Manchester, Piccadilly. That sounds like an awesome journey. I would rock up into Manchester, I'll go to Old Trafford and I'll go sit down and watch Man United kick Liverpool's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah, I know what you meant, Canada. Was it Canada? Oh, some very unique um, there's some very very unique uh, train trips around the world like I'll tell you my ultimate favorite train here in Australia uh, here in Australia when I was a kid because um, I grew up here in Sydney Australia even though I am a Queenslander I, cause I was as I was playing my parents my holidays and I was born in Brisbane so um, I am a full blade Queenslander when it comes to the state of origin, that's it, I'm a Queenslander all the way, and obviously I go for the Dolphins. Uh, oh yeah, that is the plan, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Obviously, I probably want to step off, maybe, at, um, you know, at New York. Uh, my plan would be for Boston. See, I know it'll be around winter. That's the problem. See, I because I want to see the Patriots play. I want to see the New England Patriots play. So, uh... I would have to go in there in the winter time, but I am not a big fan of winter. I hate winter. <laughs> Give me summer any day of the week. But, yeah, I know how bad the storms can get in, in America in the summer. I did not want to experience a tornado or a bad storm, because I hate storms. I have, that's, one of, that's my major fear, folks, unfortunately. I, yeah, 
Det är hennes färgiga av Fallenstad. Men av hennes springs. Vad har vi got coming down here? OMG, vi har en old school. That thing is old as hell. Yep, and that's what everybody's whinging about with the uh, the lure not being in the timetable is that it's going to be lackluster. It's going to be not loaded with trains, and um, yeah, I um, have to agree. All we have in New York is thunderstorms. And snow. Yeah, I've seen some videos of some thunderstorms in the New York region, and I've uh, seen a lot of them hit the top of the Empire, and uh, not pretty. Oh, don't know. They hit out. They hit our tower, our biggest towers, that possibly can get it in all the cities here here in Australia. I'll tell you right. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, Sydney Tower here in, uh, here in Sydney, or Se AKA Centre Point Tower, Westfield Sydney, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the Sydney Tower, it gets hit by lightning about uh, about six to eight, ten times a year, something like that. I think, it, I think there was an average there somewhere. Okay, there we go. All right, lovely doubly. That was awesome. Sunny but cold. Yeah, yep. Yeah. These are close to your spring now, aren't you? Or you're getting into your spring or something. Surely you should be close to that now. Uh, well done, you have reached the end of the quick drive scenario. Very nicely done. Northeast corridor uh, from New York, Penn to Trenton. And that is what is coming to Train Sim World 3 next week, ladies and gentlemen. And obviously, we're going to have all the action live here at Australia Worldwide Gaming. Do note, there will be a update to the game uh, a couple of days before the release. Uh, I'm not sure it could be towards the end of this week. But yeah, it uh, there will be an update coming to the game. I'll probably safe to say maybe on the Monday. I'll probably it'll be just before the release. Uh, maybe a day after before the release. Uh, so yeah, do look for that one. Uh, 65 minutes. Well, there you go. Uh, it was, yeah, that's probably how long I've been streaming for. Obviously I had the countdown leading into it. Like that screen comes up, you know, the standby screen. So, um, uh, that's probably why it says that on the, on the screen. But anyway, uh, we were speeding nine times and apparently there was people complaining about the comfort level. So they weren't too comfortable with my journey. Well, maybe that's when I jerked them over to the other track. <laughs> I'm surprised it was only 0.2. So that's nothing. Hey, just a little little bump and grind, you know, a little bumper car action. Hey, you know, surely they could have understand that was a bit of bit of bit of a bump and grind, and they they're satisfied with what I did anyway. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching. It's been an honor and privilege bringing you the Train Simulator Classic Action again here at Australia Worldwide Gaming, home to simulation here from the land down under. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for more here at Australia's premier simulation YouTube channel, Australia Worldwide Gaming. Don't forget our main event later on today at 8pm here in Sydney, Canberra, Melbourne, Hobart, 7pm Queensland, 7.30pm South Australia, and 5 p.m. in Western Australia, 6.30 p.m. in Northern Territory, 10 p.m. New Zealand, 9 a.m. UK, 10 a.m. Germany, 4 a.m. Boston, and 1 a.m. Los Angeles, 2.30 p.m. in India. And we'll be with you guys for two hours of Train Sim World 3 with our 108th edition of Choo Choo Tuesdays. Do join us then for that. And if you can't, there's always a replay for you to enjoy in your own time and pleasure, like every stream we do here at Australia Worldwide Gaming. Thank you very much for watching, and thank you very much for the comments. I appreciate you all, 
and we'll see you next time for more here. Bye-bye.